Here's the conversation. You can start with family and friends about the things of God. And this conversation starts with a question, and the question is this. Does the Bible teach about good luck and bad luck? Now, I reference a story and a version of the story I once heard from Ravi Zacharias where he speaks about a man who had a horse. And the horse had uh, left his, his farm and went away. And his neighbor came to him and said, you have such bad luck because your horse left your farm and has disappeared. A few weeks later, the horse returned with many other horses, and his neighbor was back telling him, you're such a lucky man. Now that your horse is back, he even brought many other horses with him. A few days later, his son was trying to train one of the horses, and the horse kicked his son, and his son broke his leg. And the neighbor was back and told him that you're such bad luck, there's so much bad luck in your life, that now your son's leg is broken. A few months later, some of the bandits and some of the thieves around the, the vicinity came to their area over there and were trying to recruit young boys to take with them. As they searched for young boys, they came across the farm and found the farmer's young boy, and they were trying to take the boy, but they realized that he had broken his leg and decided to leave him. And once again, the neighbor comes back and says, you have such good luck because all the boys, including my sons, were taken and your son was not. This idea of good luck and bad luck doesn't stop from every moment of our lives. The issue is, does God teach that? And the answer is no. The Bible does not teach us good luck and bad luck. It teaches us about the sovereignty of God, that God rules and God reigns and He's in control. And if we obey Him and do His will, we will have the blessing of God. Three quick verses that illustrate this. Proverbs 16, verse 9, the heart of a man, of man, plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. God will design and will, will give you the kind of steps that will take you to your destiny. It's not good luck or bad luck. It's trusting God that whatever he's doing, he's causing to work things together for you, for your good. Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, as for you, you meant evil against me. And if someone means evil against you, but God meant it for good to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. God's sovereignly in control of any action. Someone may do something bad to you. It may look like bad luck. God is in control. He is sovereign. And finally, Romans chapter 8, verse 28, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purposes. God has purposes for our lives. He's designed it well. He's in control. He's sovereign. Whatever happens, it may look good. It may look bad. Keep trusting that he's orchestrating things for you. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your holy word. We're trusting in your sovereignty. We're realizing, God, it's not about good luck or bad luck. It's all about you. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to strengthen our resolve to believe and to trust that you're causing all things to work together for us, for our good, for our purposes, for your purposes and glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen.